Hey guys, uh, tonight we're trying to transplant a few cabbage plants that are getting leggy uh, because of lack of sunlight, because of the wonderful rain every day. Seems like we don't have any sunshine here lately other than the light that I have. So I've made a prepared a box here. And what we're gonna do, let me see if I can get the camera set up. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, trying to pull some of these up. I've started in egg cartons. And so I've watered them real good, let them soak for about 15 minutes or so. And basically I've just pulled them up by the roots. And we're going to transplant them to single cartons here. And you want to make sure you've got your little uh, root on there, your tap root. And I'm going to push them down in it and cover them up with dirt. My hands don't get in the way. Yes, that's where I've had my shot today cortisone shot and trying to repair or I've overworked the wrist. Now I'm supposed to be wearing a brace but I'm, apparently you see I'm not but giving it a rest too because it rubs where they gave me a shot. And it's, it's not hard to do this and once you do this you want to place them in a uh, not a sunny location but a darker location so you're not getting too much light. And these are my again my cabbage plants you'll see as they turn into cabbage I am separating and some of them wouldn't hurt to put two if you wanted to but usually I don't like to sometimes I will without tearing the roots up I don't have enough dirt there I'm going to move some over and put it in there. And some of them are, as you see, getting very leggy. And they just came up overnight, uh, very seriously. They're probably not even two days old or three. And it's just like they came up overnight and just shot straight up. And I'm also going to be planting some flowers over here and the other one here in a minute. Gotta get another one here. I'll probably have to do a couple trays to get everything in it, but I want to make sure I get that tap root down in there. It's not that hard to do, you just got to be careful and you don't want to break uh, the plant and make sure it's watered well when you do this. You don't want to fertilize it for, and if you fertilize it, it's very, very light, very weak, but you won't, don't want to do it for probably another two weeks until it gets, uh, the roots will take hold in here. And then it's a very still light dose because these are young plants. See, that one's broke off completely. It has no tap root. So you want to make sure you got your roots on the bottom. Right there is quite a few cabbage plants, and I've still got plenty more here uh, to come in. We'll do some flowers here in just a second. What I have here is the Joseph's coat, um, and you can see where these are very. I don't know if I can tear without. They're so thick already. I need to go ahead and transplant. They just come up really good, and I want quite a few of these. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to start on the other side. I want my way in. You can see one bunch here has quite a lot in it. So probably have two in each one. And here the girls in the background fussing and quarreling. They just came in so they're, it's play time for them. 
and they're fighting over their wonderful toys. You'll see I'm separating these. I'm putting two, trying to put two in each one. I can grow these for a fraction of what I would buy them for at town, and a lot of things I cannot buy at town or in the Lowe's or Walmart or places like that that I want. And if you do, they're three dollars for a little tray like this, and you can buy one pack. And I should not have sewed the whole pack. But apparently I did here, and it's got lots of wood in that one. These will start straightening back out. Thanks. This here's not the greatest potting soil in the world. Uh, it's got a little bit more mulch in it, looks like. Said I'm putting at least two, maybe three on each one. If you've got questions, you can either message me and I'll get to them ASAP, but it, sometimes it might still take me a day or so to do it. Um, I'll show you some of our other plants here in just a few minutes that we've got coming up. And we're not using the greenhouse this year because I've just not had time. We're doing too much remodeling, too much working on other things, and we're just trying to spare the time. Well, I buried that one. Or you can put it under the comments, and just as soon as I can get to it, I will. I still have more of these coming up. And, and I'll probably get some more trays to put them in. I'm going to show you guys what else that we have uh, that looks so... Those still look pitiful because they just shot up all at one time. Um, these are some of those cabbages that look so lanky looking or leggy looking. And maybe. She's got to inspect everything. These are some I just transplanted, I think, the day before yesterday. These are zinnias. They're red zinnias. This in here is some of our cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. Yes, we've got tomato plants up the size of um, probably six inches here. We've got onions still coming up in this tray. More tomato plants here. More lettuce here, which is coming along pretty well, and more tomato plants and, and stuff here. Then our lettuce down here, and we've got a again Maggie again coming back. All right, back here I've got uh, those tomato plants, probably about six inches uh, tall. If you'll look, I've got a toilet paper. What I'll do is pull those up, pull off all the bottom leaves, and plant them inside of this with dirt and stack a whole bunch together. That will give it time to uh, make root. This will also rot, but it will give it a better rooting system. Uh, let me show them maybe this other side here. Uh, here you go. You can actually see them in there, see how tall they are. And this here, so this shows about, I don't even know what kind of these are. These are patios. These are the ones that will go in my patios. I've got dill growing there, so I've got some herbs started, and we'll have some more here started before long. I've got plenty up here, and another tray of onions down there started. 
if you've got questions again, uh, message me. And the girls have turned over my wonderful eggs, fake eggs that we use in the chicken lot. They're trying to figure out what we're doing. And we have the plate back. You smell it up. So we're off. Tell them bye.